Welcome back to another episode of Electric Drive Africa. This week, we take a look at Kenyan startup Eco Border and speak to Kimosop Chepkoit, CEO and co-founder. I'm Kim Chepkoit, the founder and CEO of Eco Border, uh, an electric motorbike leasing and designing company based in Nairobi. What inspired you to start EcoBoda? Before we started EcoBoda, we were leasing out motorbikes to the riders in Mlolongo and with time we discovered that we needed a better product for the riders and also for the market because um, well, the Boda Boda industry is really growing, especially in East Africa where we have over 3 million motorbikes. The motorcycle industry, or popularly known in Kenya as Boda Bodas, supports 5.2 million people directly or indirectly. That's about 10% of Kenya's population. There are 1.4 million motorcycle riders in Kenya. Eco Boda's main mission is to put a product on the market that not only saves riders money, but is also environmentally friendly. Let's hear what Kim has to say about encouraging adoption of electric two-wheelers through his breakthrough product. The electric motorbike uh, brings a, a lot of savings to the rider in terms of uh, fueling, which now we're going to use batteries, which are way cheaper compared to, to, to the fuel, to the petrol. And uh, in terms of servicing, you find that uh, a combustion engine rider needs to, to visit a technician every two weeks or so to change oil, maybe plugs, uh, not change the chain and such. So all these moving parts, they they add uh, a lot of cost into the to the radar. Uh, considering these are people, who, they don't make a lot of money. So at the end of the day, you find that they're almost using all the savings to repair the bike and such. So when it comes to the electric bike, we don't have those moving parts. Yes. Yeah, so uh, there there, there are no. You, do, you don't need frequent repairs and such. So the repairs are only done maybe in three months and these are checkups. We check the motor, uh, the fuses and everything. These ones, uh, they are like 90% cheaper than, than uh, the combustion engine, servicing the combustion engine motorbikes in the same period. We are currently targeting Boda Boda riders because um, there is a challenge when it comes to the underlying infrastructure like the swap stations and such. So by targeting the Boda Boda riders who have, uh, from the way they operate here in Kenya is that they have predetermined routes and they don't, they don't, uh, they don't, they don't travel longer, so they take frequent short trips, 2 to 10 kilometers which means they won't be affected by um, the battery range anxiety, which is a very common thing when it comes to immobility. Because you see, someone will say, I'm going, I'm traveling like 100 kilometers today. Uh, where will I get a swap station or such? So, but with time, when we build the, the swap stations across Nairobi and maybe Kenya, we won't have that challenge. We will target. The, uh, the model that we built is uh, it's built for the African market, which means it's a bit rugged. We have included um, the big brackets for carrying load, mm -hmm. and uh, it has a powerful motor. Uh, it also comes with a radio because the riders <laughs> like radio so much. Uh, it also comes with, of course, because uh, it's electric, it has like a sine wave controller, a uh, DC to DC converter, and such. It also has a, a battery which is uh, swappable. It has a battery box, you can remove the battery and put another fully charged battery when the one you've been using is depleted. Uh, so the, 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 the battery is en it's enclosed in a box for safety purposes. 
kwa majina naitwa Kefa Mwendwa na nimekuwa ni kiraidi bike for 2 years now but the new the new electric bike nime ride for 6 months is the eco border cheaper than a traditional border border of course eco border is cheaper than the traditional bike cuz unapata e bike ya electric maintenance yake iko chini compared to hizo bikes zingine where by unapata story na service so this kama ya engine where by to kubadilisha oil iko boda ina engine so hakuna kubadilisha oil na hizi bikes zingine unapata ni cost sana hizo hiyo part ya service mara kubadilisha engine hizo ma oil check alafu pia iko boda ina chain so unapata it is very less to maintain okay kuzungumzia maintenance ya iko boda unapata maintenance yake ni vitu kidogo tu mostly parts like kuchange nini hiyo hiyo brake fuel and then ku pressure kuweka pressure kuongeza pressure alafu na ku make sure bike ni safi pia so unapata hizo maintenance ni kidogo lakini ukikombea na zile bike zingine maintenance unapata iko high sana first of all unafaa ku make sure bike iko na oil ya kutosha una change oil after 2 weeks una change oil alafu mara tubes nini so unapata iko boda ni iko na tubeless it comes with the tubeless zake ni tubeless so unapata stori za mapuncture pia ziko chini pia unapata alafu nini yake since haina engine so maintenance pale ni iko chini pia ya yeah, na ina exhaust ati unapata is free from it's friendly environment friendly mm -hmm. yeah okay sasa so, hii bike ya iko boda cost yake ya kuirun ni ni low whereby ni 66 pop per charge compared to the other bikes unapata ime come after ya 10 to 50 ikupeleke the whole day but so to, to, to 50 minus 66 bob so unu mepa ubaki na na change kama ya 150 so unapata yuko boda cost yake ni kutusa wa yu 66 bob per charge na yuweza kupeleka the whole day pia same tuna ili ingine yu unge kama after ya 250 pia na kupeleke the whole day so unapata yuko boda yuko cost yake yuko poa yu mba yu 66 bob would you go back to an internal combustion engine bike? Kulingana na hiyo vile ni mwona yuko boda imeni pele kapua Sidani kama sayu ni zani convince tena kunembia ni rudikuwa zile bike za mafuta Since yuko boda ni kucharge tuna unasonga, unacharge pa at night sama any time but if you alone a charge unaendelea na na shughuli zako so hakuna vile nitaniambia tena ni rudi kwa zile bike za mafuta okay so now this is the fun part i use boda borders almost every day to get through the cbd to get to work to get to my friends places so this is a special treat for me to ride the first eco boda boda in the whole of kenya let's do it
Wow, that was different. The only thing that I would say is different from an internal combustion engine is less noise, no pollution from the exhaust, and it's a much smoother ride. It's not as bumpy as a regular border border. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video, and we'll see you in the next one.